Minister. I am 69 years old this year and have served more than 30 years in politics, 20 years before that in public service. My most important task in the last half a dozen years has been to help the Prime Minister to prepare not just the fourth generation leadership, but also to make sure that we have a system in place, that we're able to have a fifth generation of leaders coming in, having the time to learn, to be tested, and to gain the trust and support of Singaporeans. And these are people in their 30s and 40s. Many would be at the threshold where they have a good chance of reaching the peak in their chosen careers and professions. We have to bring them in and have them contribute. All members of this House know that coming into politics entails many sacrifices in privacy, continuous exposure to the glare of the public eye, especially in this age of the social media. In their careers, in family time, and not always being there to watch your kids grow. If they have served well, the satisfaction of having done so is the biggest report, reward. That makes it all worthwhile. The biggest challenge we face is to continue bringing in the best team to do the best for Singapore and Singaporeans. And I am glad today that in this House, we have agreed to focus on the facts and the truth, not just on wild allegations or rumours or perceptions, but focus on the facts and the truth. And this is important so that we can build a system with a strong foundation which will help to bring in good people to continue to serve in government to take Singapore further forward. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker.